Hi, very good afternoon to you. It's Jim from Avstar. Guys, I know it's been a few days, but I am still here in the background. The TriMag works continuously every three seconds. It takes a reading. And we're going to be talking about that in this video. Um, before we get into that, I want to say a big thank you to those few people. JBM, Jim, and a few others. Um, I'm apologising if I don't mention all your names, but, you know, it's really nice to see just a few people now and then, you know, chip in and help with the running costs of the observatory and support the work that we do. Why is it important? Take a look at this article uh, produced by CNN. Earth's inner core may have stopped turning and could go into reverse, study shows. And of course, you've seen this uh, very popular professor um, talk about, you know, uh, other uh, geo anomalies but what I want to bring to your attention is the date on this January the 26th 2023 now if you've been following me for at least four years now five years um, on the website with the TriMag data and on YouTube with the TriMag data you will note that on the 17th of January we noticed something very unusual about the Earth's magnetic field it had ceased to migrate in a whole month over the northern hemisphere and then on the 26th you know uh, a few days ago now about five six days ago now this article is released why is it important that you know i'll show you this article because it is the very inner core and nature of our earth's inner core that produces the magnetic field and if studies are showing that it is slowing down, could stop and go into reverse. Well, holy moly, isn't that what we just published nearly a week before this article was published? You know, we are the only ones with the TriMag system in the world. It is a bespoke piece of equipment. I've talked about this many times. You know, that piece of equipment if used to pay, you know, a team of electronic engineers and programmers to build it would cost tens of thousands of pounds we've got that at our disposal and we run it at an interval of every three seconds 24 hours a day seven days a week and 365 days a year and that is in accordance uh, we don't get power cuts because there's nothing we can do about that other than you know at some later date put a battery backup system on it but we don't get many power cuts around here and what usually happens is when the power if the power is cut and it comes back on it just carries on collecting the data from that point so you know it's rare to have a power cut it's rarer to have a power cut lasting an hour or so and um, you know we're covered at a very high resolution we're also monitoring magnetosphere strengths uh, or intensities from not just the UK uh, but from other parts of the world uh, we've got some work to publish for one of our superstars Kendall which we're going to put up on the website if not this evening it will be up there tomorrow so can you believe we are actually now having some um, universities back up what we what we were finding was taking place um, in December late December through to uh, January yeah not only did our TriMag system indicate that the magnetic North Pole had stopped but now there are studies uh, examining the inner core through uh, shock waves that travel through the liquid parts and then get to the more denser parts of our core like the inner core the outer core the solid core and you know they're monitoring how these waves um, you know work and this is the results of their study so I just thought you know it's really important to bring you news when we get it out when it comes out like that and especially if it's backing up exactly what we're saying now just to reiterate on the 17th of January we told you guys the magnetic North Pole had come to a grinding halt and then on the 26th of January this article is published so you heard it first here first hand and um, you know it's pleasing when when you do get results like this so it's going to be really interesting and exciting to see what happens in or around about 17 days time when we pop out that trimax system and i am very tempted to 
take out the Trimag uh, SD card and just have a look at what's going on right now to see if it has started to move uh, further east towards Russia or it has stopped in its track still or maybe it is going back westerly we will get that information to you guys maybe tomorrow I'll do a video you know if I get the time I'll whip the SD card out and we'll do a double reading for this month just because on the back of this information and the information that we published on the 17th guys there's a link down there if you want to help support us or become one of our patrons I know that when we get to this point in the video everyone switches off because they've heard it before but let me tell you something we're in difficult times now and it's going to be even worse for us here at this year uh, at the observatory you know uh, with regards to raising funds because of the amount of people that are feeling the pinch but this is important research you know we're, we're revealing things to the general public that aren't being normally revealed and they are important if we have a core stall that will shut the magnetosphere down which is our primal protective uh, shield against inbound cosmic rays and solar radiation. You know, one of our neighbouring planets had a magnetosphere. Mars no longer has it. And that's why it doesn't have an atmosphere right now. It used to have magnetic poles. They're no longer there. So this has happened to a planet already, which is neighbouring us in our solar system. And we should pay attention to that. Because, you know, it's okay to take everything for granted, but this could be even bigger brain break breaking research that we're doing here that could, you know, encourage other universities and scientific organisations and bodies around the world to pay a little bit more attention to what is going on. Because these are rare events. When we get magnetic reversals, these are very rare events. They're not thunderstorms or lightning st strikes. These happen on you know on the scale of tens of thousands of years on um if we're talking about um you know just excursions or hundreds of thousands of years if we're talking completed magnetic reversals so link down there if you want to help support us i really hope you do i hope a few more people jump up and say yeah you know what on the back of this exciting information gene we're going to chuck in a few books because you nailed it before this organization did Okay, love you lots, guys. I'll be back maybe tomorrow with the SD card at the Trimac. Well, let's see. Okay, you take it easy. Take care of your loved ones. So what do you just do? Bye for now.